Um, I just wanted to do a really quick video. I'm actually on the way to the doctor for me, which is unusual. I'm usually taking somebody else, but um, I've had a lot on my mind and I wanted to sort of share it. I've had a lot of response to my video on cleaning and being chronically ill. I'll link to that in the car card and down below. But I just, last night I had the sweetest comment and you know, it just really, it was an encouragement to me, but it was also a reminder, you know, it, to, to be um, genuine. Sometimes it's hard for me because I feel like nobody wants to hear about what's going on and it's, um, because it's a hard, it's, the reality is it's a hard life. It's, you know, what we're dealing with right now is hard. And at times the pressure on me can be immense because I'm not only the mom of four chronically ill adult daughters that I'm caring for, but I'm also chronically ill myself. And lately I've been having a lot of flares and health issues. Um, last In the last week I've had some really bad knee issues. One of the things I'm gonna to talk to the doctor about today um, where it could be what's called a subluxation. It's where it comes out of joint and I don't know if it's going back in wrong or if it's pinching a tendon, but I just know I've been having a lot of issues with a specific knee. And um, so anyway, it's just been really at hard, times hard because as the mom, I feel like I'm supposed to take care of everybody. I'm sure y'all feel that way too. As moms, we, you know, we, we are the nurturers and carers for our family. And it's really hard when me and all the girls are down, you know, and my husband works 60, 70 hours a week, some weeks, and it's just really hard. And I, it's easy to feel defeated and, and overwhelmed. And um, last, the other day I was watching or reading, I don't remember if I saw it on, on Instagram or on here, but Hillary from um, Our Farmhouse Life was, I think it was on her channel. And if I can find the video, I'll link it below. Um, but she was just talking about, that's it, the life, hack, life hacks and stuff and things that she has learned and, and is applying to her life. And it, the thing yesterday I was having, I just was having a bad day and I mean not like angry, that's not, tend, doesn't tend to be where I go. I tend to intro, go into myself because I'm, if you know MBTI, I'm an INFJ. I tend to just sort of shut down and go into myself and I don't want to burden everybody else. And I was having a hard day and there was just like the kitchen was a disaster. I hadn't been able to walk much or like Thursday and Friday and Saturday I had to be out. So any ability to stand I used grocery shopping and doing my what I had to do there. So it's hard to balance and juggle. I've got to go out and run for five or six hours which is, it took me, let's see, it was five hours that I was gone Friday. Um, by the time I get done, I'm, I'm wiped. I can't do anything else. I couldn't, with my knee, I couldn't stand anymore. And it was 10.30 at night when I got home. So, you know, it was, I was just feeling very defeated. And something Hillary said really just started resonating. I was trying to do some dishes yesterday and I was really in a just a mentally bad place and she talked about when she gets down you know she starts thinking about her blessings and the thing is is that you know depression is real and I'm not talking about clinical depression chemically caused depression I, we have people that deal with that and that is real and that's not what I'm talking about but there are times that we can set ourselves up for more defeat and more discouragement. Um, scripture talks about the fact that we're supposed to take every thought captive. And 
you know, we can go down that rabbit hole of, you know, I'm tired, I'm hurting, I've got too much to do, I don't, I don't know how I'm going to do it all. Um, do any of these sound familiar to you? I'm sure I could make the list much longer, but we can go down that rabbit hole or we can do what, you know, James talks about which is one of my favorite verses, is to count it all joy. That's a choice. And it, it's easy to lose that and to get discouraged and think there is no hope. And as you can see, it, it, it's hard. And I've got to go in the doctor, so I don't need to be crying. Um, but it's, it's hard. But there is hope. And we do have, we have a choice on how we think about it. And we have a choice on if we beat ourselves up or whether or not we accept our limitations and if we're willing to ask for help. I am terrible about not asking for help. So, I'm at the, pulling into the doctor's office so I've got to go, but I just wanna say, choose joy, choose thankfulness, choose to be grateful. When I started doing that yesterday and started, you know, as I'm washing dishes, being thankful that I have dishes to wash. I have a dishwasher because there have been many years of my life we didn't have one. I have a home. I have air conditioning. And in the Deep South, you're real thankful for that. Um, I have so many blessings. I have a husband who loves and supports me. And supports our daughters and doesn't complain at all the work he has to do so that I can take care of the girls. I want to encourage you that when things are hard, you know, take a deep breath, say a prayer, and then and ha even ask God, you know, to help you with that. Because he says in James also that if you ask for wisdom, he will give it to you. And I know how many times, I can't count them, that I have gone, God, I do not know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what the answer to this problem is. And he may not say, okay, here's the answer, you know. But you know, sometimes he does. Sometimes I have just, during the midst of that, I have, I have, just said a prayer, God, I don't know what the answer is. I don't know what to do. And if I will be quiet and just calm myself and take a deep breath and think about it, the answer comes to me. Now, I'm not saying God talks to me because I don't believe he audibly, audibly talks to me. But I think he gives us the wisdom to figure out the solution to the problem. And he does that. So I need to run in because I'm running late. But thank you so much for watching. And please, if you have any other um, ways that you encourage yourself or get out of discouragement, please leave a comment below. And I hope that you will let me know how you get what discourages you. And, and maybe we can talk about it and figure out ways to help one another. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you and have a good day. Bye.